Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Those who are returning, I appreciate you. Oh my goodness. I appreciate you for rocking with me, for believing in me, believing that I'm going to return. <laughs> I'm here, I am back. And those who are new, thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being drawn to me, to my channel. I appreciate you as well. Um... I'm going to give a little little spiel. It's going to be a little little time because I want to give y'all all the details of everything. Um, all the future videos is not going to be a long spiel like this. But you can always fast forward. And I will timestamp everything in the comments below. All the zodiac signs, when I begin this reading, things like that. Okay? So you could definitely do uh, look into the timestamp. Now... For everyone, um, if you've been looking for me, if you didn't have, you had no clue what's going on, I've been in Patreon. So I have never stopped, of course, this is my gift. For those who do not know, I am an actual psychic medium, okay? Which just means that I am, for me, because it's, it's different for others, but for me, I'm able to see, hear, um, feel, smell, all my senses, like, is there, uh, I'm able to pick up on name places, um, you name it. Uh, I have done readings all over the world. Um, you do not have to be in person, clearly, um, for me to see or feel your energy. Um, so yeah, I've done uh, readings in the U.S., all over the U.S. I've done readings out the country. Um, for those who are wanting readings with me that's out the country who have issues with figuring out how to pay, um, I recently seen a change with uh, PayPal. I'm not sure how that go, but I did see like you can change the currency of what you know where you're, what you're, who you're paying or whatever. So that's cool. I recently just seen that. So definitely look into that. Okay. Um, and, uh, also, so I've been in Patreon, as mentioned, um, I've been in Patreon, uh, I do weeklies over there, dailies over there, meditation over there, um, crystal messages, uh, chakra messages, um, protection, all type of things over there. So you definitely want to tune in over there if you want, uh, more of me, uh, you can join as a member now over here on youtube i did have memberships um i still have it going but right now it's only going to be for oracle um because i'm only able to do so much i'm i'm here i'm there and i'm also other places so um yeah if you want to join me in patreon just go check it out i'm gonna put the link in the description of this video check out the memberships and uh, whichever f uh, fits you join that um you can always upgrade later you can always downgrade if you know it you can always change it if you need to but for starters you could just join um whichever one you could join the lowest membership um if that's more feasible for you but uh yeah so I'm there for those who are wanting more of me because here, I'm going to get into what I'm going to do here in a minute, but I'm also in a, another site. I'm in, well, it's a psych, it's for psychics. Um, it's different psychics though, like, like um, you know, you have your car readers, you have your... Uh, you have psychics uh, like myself, you have mediums, you have all type of, but you have to actually um, be interviewed. So there is different from YouTube. YouTube, you just, you come in YouTube, do your own thing. Anyone can call themselves a psychic medium, clearly. But um, for myself, I like proof. And I like to give y'all proof. I like to show you that I am able and capable to do these things. It's not, and it's not me just saying it, okay? So, it's plenty reviews, feedback on what I have done. You can look at prior videos. It go all the way back to 2019. Um, but yeah, in that site, I... Uh, it's proven that I am a psychic medium. I actually, in my interview, I had to actually... Uh, read someone and do a medium reading as well and as well as prove that I can read cards so um, not only psychic medium there but I also did card readings as well so 
my title there is because I passed the test to do that. <laughs> so um, you can join me over there as well. I'm not there as frequently as I am in Patreon, but I will be there and here and everywhere, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm in social media, uh, Instagram, and also Facebook still. So if you want to reach out to me, email me. Um, if you have like a question, not a personal question, of course, if you have a question as far as a reading, you want to book with me, um, please, everyone, if you want a reading, just go to the reading, go to the booking site. That is also going to be listed in the description of this video. Do not email me asking me for a reading, please. Do not DM me asking me for a reading. I'm saying this because I know it's still going to be others that do. And it's just too much. So I'm trying to minimize it. So you guys that are hearing me right now, don't email me about a reading. Just go to the booking site and book your reading. Now, if you have like a question pertaining to a reading of how this and that, then yeah, email me and I will reach out to you. You, you can email me or you can um, DM me um, or send me a message in Facebook as well. Uh, what else, you guys? Um, that is it as of right now. Okay, so now, YouTube, I am doing a weekend message for you all. So each zodiac sign, I'm going to timestamp it or whatever. I think I mentioned that, but yeah, I'm going to timestamp it. Um, as far as moving forward, I'm going to try to maintain the weekend messages and then I'm going to do small weekly messages for each zodiac sign. Now, how I'm going to do that, I'm going to start off doing like I'm probably do the element like I have done in the past. Do the elements, but y'all, uh, each zodiac sign for that element will be broken down separately. So, say for instance, I do earth signs. I will uh, do earth signs all together Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Each one of your zodiac sign will have a title. So if it res, say for instance, the title resonate with you, go check it out. Now, for those who are new to me or don't know so much about astrology or anything like that, you definitely want to look into your natal chart. That is also going to be listed in the description of this video. Your natal chart will help you understand you. It's going to help you understand each zodiac sign, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mars, your Mercury, your, your, you, okay? And that is very important in the tarot world and the just readings um, based on zodiac signs because... It's not just your sun sign. So you definitely want to look into your other signs, okay? Um, say, for instance, your sun sign is an earth sign, whichever. Um, and then, but you see this particular fire sign is resonating with you. So go check it out, you know? Always look into the other. Don't base it off of, oh, that's not my zodiac sign. No. Because the message may be your message. So also, it may be good for you to just listen to all the zodiac signs here in this message. Just hear it out. Because you may end up hearing a message in another zodiac sign. Okay? Um, so yeah, you definitely want to check out your natal chart if you have no idea what it is. That's for starters. For those who know about your natal chart and you're unaware of your Vedic, you definitely want to check out your Vedic. Because that's very important as well. Um... So, you guys, let's get into it. I know this been, I told you it was going to be a long spell. I haven't, a, spe a spell, spill. It's been a while. So, um, I'm just happy. I'm happy to be back with you all. I'm happy that uh, a lot of you have reached out to me. Um, that's another reason why I'm like, I got to get back. I got to get back. So many of y'all. Your, your name is not forgetting, okay? I remember you. I remember your energy. Um, and those who have been with me and you were with me when I was here, I haven't forgotten you, okay? Um, so, I'm back! 
<laughs> uh, for those who are members, you could definitely join uh, as a member here for just Oracle. Like I said, if you want anything else, more of anything else, tune in to Patreon. Also with the Q&As, I'm going to start the Q&As back up. Q&As will be on Mondays at... Uh, I'm not sure of the time yet, but I will let you know. Um, but that will now be on Mondays. It used to be Wednesdays and Saturdays, but it's going to be on Mondays for sure. The other day, I haven't figured out the other day yet, but for sure on Monday. If you want, like, if you do end up subscribing or becoming a member in Patreon, I do have a membership there where you do receive Q&As there. And that's more private because it's more just for the community there versus worldwide here. Um, so that's the choice as well. I'm done. I'm getting off. I'm about to get into the reading, you guys. Ah! All right, so let's start with Aries. Aries. That is crazy long. Why is it so long? <laughs> Show us a message for Aries. Aries. Aries spirit. Hmm. Whatever it is, they want you to keep going. Keep doing something. It's just... Because you have the sun as well at the bottom of the deck. So I'm reading a different um, deck. I'm reading the um, Gilded Reverie. I'm not doing tarot for the weekend message. At least for not this one. But uh, it seems as if. Like you may feel like you're in a, a maze. Or like you're. It's like. Okay where do I go next? How do I get from point A to point B? Or how do I get. How do I finish this? It's like you're you're hitting a brick wall. That's how you feel. Um, but I feel like if you just keep trying to figure out, okay, you hit that brick wall, turn around, go another direction, you know, try to figure your way out because you're headed towards the sun. Um, so maybe there's also you may have to figure out a way to work with others or someone who can help you get to this sun okay um because maybe you shut you could be shutting yourself out because this person look a little lonely they're all the way back there everybody else is trying to find this person like hey you know I'm, i want to help you or let's do this together but maybe you're you're uh trying to do this solo dolo which is which is fine and all but at the same time you have to be open to receiving help or receiving because you never know it may not be for long term it could just be just for that period maybe that person tell you hey you know that's just like you you're going to the grocery store and you're trying to figure out where a certain item is and you say or you're you're like dang you say dang where is the sauce such and such sauce or whatever but then it's a, it's a person that's right by oh I, I just passed that that's on the next aisle over you go to the next aisle over voila you find it just as simple as that so allow that allow that like someone could could be guiding you and you don't even or you're not taking you're not taking what they're saying or you're just you're trying to fend for yourself it's like, I got this, I got this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. But you have to also be open to work with others in some type of way or just, or take some type of advice. It could be simple. It's like I'm getting like someone driving and just disregarding the route. Like I'm going to do it. My, you're fending. It's like you're fending. You're going through your journey. But it, it's stubbornness. It's definitely stubbornness here. Okay. So let me give you. Because Aries. I love these little. Um, 
some of them sound like poems or whatnot but let me see uh when you think you've done everything you can mm -hmm, you hit a wall and have to start again i am the labyrinth the labyrinth labyrinth i always say that wrong um that keeps you going through trial and error to the end there are no shortcuts to success my friend so message okay <laughs> so like maybe you're in a hurry to hurry up and get something done or get something to that next level to reach this sun that prosperity well you are already prosperous it's already within you so you reaching it it's already you it's just you're trying to find i guess more of a, a better look a better outcome for you i don't know but you just have to like they said there's no shortcuts there's no shortcuts so um if you have to work with others in order to get to the next level they're giving me so much in your reading. Um, the benefits and then the downfall of being a psychic medium as well. <laughs> uh, I'm getting there showing me, um, you know, like um, what they call those, like the room, the when you get locked in a room, I forget what it's called, but you, you get locked in a room, you all as a group, and you have to fit, find the key in order to get out. But it's like is 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 uh, is is puzzles that you have to put together or you have to you have to figure it out but it's a group effort one can't do it alone so teamwork makes the dream work <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work okay so that's what they're saying like allow others to help you even if you have to go and ask like hey how how do i do this or how should i go up you know something you can't do everything on your own all right aries moving on show us a message for taurus 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 Taurus, 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 Hmm. It looked like there's someone that is interested in giving you a love offer. Um, this person could be quite charming. Um, it could be a Scorpio. I have the coffin here. Or this could be someone that you have ended things with and they want to come around again. Let's get one more on this male. You could be the male. Yeah, someone want love with someone. Someone is, is highly into somebody here. Okay. Yeah, they looking. <laughs> they watching. <laughs> and someone is wanting to give a love offer to someone. Whether this is you wanting to give this love offer to someone or this is someone is that's interested in you so expect this um someone could have been seeing the numbers 44 quite a bit at this time or 444 um the number 24 or 28 can be significant for you at this time but there's a love offer coming in for you someone name can start with a j or an a all right uh, Gemini, weekend message, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini spirit, Gemini, what is it? All right, Gemini. Huh. I would say right now, be careful with your spending like, I wouldn't spend much if I don't have to. Um, I feel like, or you may feel like you're running out of time to do something, to get something done. There's an energy around you that could be trying to, like, take away from your finances or stop your growth, okay? So... That energy could be of a, of a being. Someone could be around you. 
um, or this could be the energy sent your way, okay? But there's definitely energy surrounding you that's trying to swipe your bank account or take money from, take food from your mouth, okay? Uh, let me read you this poem. My appearance brings time to the forefront of, a, of importance. I may be approaching or passing, so be attentive. Use me wisely to provide perspective. Look around me to better understand my involvement. Certain cars may slow me down, but sometimes a quick action will get you the crown. So this is what's slowing you down. Okay, so um, it looked like yeah, your money, you could be having issues with your finances at this time. Or you could be overspending at this time. So be careful, okay? Uh, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. Be careful. I am swift and sharp. I cut through with precision, with a sharp and clear vision. I am an accident, a deep cut, a break, or sometimes a difficult decision that needs to be made. I... I can bring good harvest or danger. Look at what I am cutting nearby. It just might be your wage. So, yeah. Just be careful with your finances. Um, try to save as much as you can, okay? This is the weekend. You definitely, you know, you want to have a good time or whatever. Maybe you're working. I don't know. But just be wise on your spending at this time. All right, Cancer, what is the message for Cancer? Cancer, for this weekend. Weekend message for Cancer. Weekend message for Cancer. Weekend message for Cancer. June 1st and June 2nd. Weekend message for Cancer. Cancer. Cancer spirit. All right, Cancer, you have, okay, you have, what? So you have a heart. Um, It looked like you want to write a love letter to someone, but you feel like it's being rejected, or you want to express your love to someone, and you, maybe you feel like, this is giving me, like, texting a message and then deleting it. Texting it and then, like, nah, I'm not going to say that. Like, something like that. Or you could be writing. <laughs> Thank you. The, uh, you know, the scene from Five Heartbeats and the brother and sister is making music where the brother is writing and then he ball it up, throw it, toss it in the trash, and then he, he think of something else. That's what I'm getting, that vision. So that could be what you're doing. Like, you're writing. You're like, nah, that, is, that don't sound right. I ain't going to say that. So I don't know. This could be through a text. This could be through any form of communication okay um uh this could be a, a email however it is it looks like someone has something to say to get off their heart um but you're not getting it through to that person so this may be a good time where you need to really express yourself to whoever this loved one is okay or the love that you have for this person yeah you just need to express it 24 and 27 could be significant for someone as well. Show us a message for, uh, was it Cancer? So, uh, Leo. Leo. Spirit, show us a message for Leo. Leo. Weekend message, June 1st and June 2nd. What is the message? Okay. And then I'm here. I work hard for the money. All right. So maybe you're working hard for the money or this is what, what you need to do with this well here. Because with the well, it speaks of, you know, back in the olden days when we have to actually... Um, go pet go go and get our water from the well versus um versus now we have bottles of water or you can just turn on a, the sink and whatever and get water 
I hope you ain't drinking that. But <laughs> but whether you're drinking it or not, you still have water in the home versus you having to go to the well and get your water. So what they're telling you is this is what they need you to do. You're going to have to work hard for what you're trying to gain. Basically, no no half-stepping, no, 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 um, maybe you're trying to cut corners. This is giving me Aries message as well. That came out in Aries message a little bit. So... Uh, maybe Aries could be connected to you or you have placements of Aries, but, um, yeah. And then you're fire too. So it could just be the energy of the element. Um, but it does look like they're wanting you to work hard, continue to work hard. If you haven't, if you've been trying to cut corners, don't do that. Okay. If it, cause no, mm, they saying no, <laughs> and you need to make a decision. I feel like right now don't take any risk cause you're going to hit a hard, hard fall and you don't want to miss your harvest like you're close to it and if you half step it or you know for some you're close to it for some you got some ways because everyone is at different timings okay so um and close could be meaning is tomorrow close could be meaning yours will be next year you know so it's just you have you have to be realistic with what you're doing as well. So if you've been working hard putting in the work and you haven't been half stepping nothing, you're doing that's how you're gonna gain your 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 success or your harvest that's waiting on you. Now um if you haven't, you're gonna hit it's gonna be a uh, quite a few bumps in a row for you until you get it, okay? But don't take any risk at this time. Any risk. Not just pertaining to like your work. This could be anything. You know, it's risking you. It can, it could be. It's you know, you have your your good and bad. You you always weigh out the pros and cons with everything. Should I do that? Nah, that wouldn't be good. Cause if I do that, then that would that won't benefit me. That'll hurt me, or that'll hurt that person, or whatever. You know, always do things um, with a pure heart. Okay. All right. Moving on to uh, Virgo. Virgo spirit, show us a message for Virgo. 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 What is the message for Virgo this weekend? Okay, Virgo, it looks like you have a deceased loved one that's trying to reach out to you. This could be like a, a, a maternal figure. For some, yeah, it could be. For some, it could be a mother or a father um, that is trying to reach out to you, or of that, uh, or um, a motherly or fatherly energy. Okay, whoever this person is, it don't necessarily have to be your actual mother or father, but it's this person is trying to connect with you. So this person could have been coming to you in dreams, or maybe you know, in, in your awakened life, you could be going through your day and you're thinking of this person, or you smell this person or something remind you of this person that's them trying to connect with you so um i don't know but they're trying to connect with you they're trying to say something to you um that's what they're giving me in this message okay because you they they're trying to give you a key to something the key don't necessarily it could be to a home it could be to not necessarily giving you the key like yeah i left you a key but when i died but no it could be that you know but for some the key is some some good information that can help you to the next step okay get you to the next place um uh maybe you're striving to get to this new home but it's something that's blocking you or stopping you and your ancestor, your loved one is trying to tell you like, hey, pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to the signs, the numbers and synchronicities that I'm giving to you while you're awakened because that's going to give you the aha moment of, oh, I know where it's at or I know what I need to do, like whatever that is. Now, for some of you... Um, it may be time for a medium reading, but for some, it's just listen to what they're saying to you. Like, pay attention. Um, this person is trying to connect with you. They're trying to give you some type of, oh, some type of um, information 
Mm-hmm. This person is trying to give you some information possibly due to their death. That could be it too. Because I'm getting slander or hurt. Like, yeah, I'm getting like betrayal as well. This is giving me like maybe it was pertaining to a home situation. Could be. Um, that's another message for someone. Take it however it resonates. Um, yeah, it's like they're wanting you to look into something more deeper. They're trying to give you the key to something, okay? The number 8, 33, 10, 4, or 15 could be significant for someone. All right, take it however it resonates, but please, if it's not your message, it's not your message. All right, moving on to Libra. 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 All right, Libra. It looks like Libra, it's time for a flight. Okay? It's time for you to get going somewhere. They're trying, they're trying to say, um, yeah, they're saying to you, go for it. Maybe, um, cause you could be drowning yourself in work or drowning yourself in just the daily, daily responsibilities. Like whatever this is, it's like you need an outlet, some type of need to go and do something differently. Yeah. You feel way down here. Someone feel way down, like just being a mother or just being a father or just, you know, just working all the time. Like, all you do is work and go home, eat, sleep. Like, <laughs> like it's just, yeah, the normal routines and it's like, okay, I need something different. Yeah, they're telling you it's time to get on the flight. You, you need to go somewhere. You need to go somewhere. Wow, yes, exactly. Okay, I'm going to read you this, the poem to this message to this card. Um, I take you on a vacation or a business trip. It could be a business trip, but business trip be fun too. You know, it's still an outlet, but at the same time, it's still work. But I feel like for you in this message, you need to take a me trip, okay? You will need a suitcase for where you are going. Distance is what I am known for, and I am constantly in motion. Look at the cars to me. For the clues and the cues to the changes I bring in your life's journey. Yeah, this is you drowning with the fishes underwater. Like, yeah, I feel like you're drowning with the death right behind it, the coffin. Um, So I just feel like it's time for, for a change. It's time for you to do something different. That's all they're telling you to get at, find some type of outlet. But let it involve you traveling, taking a flight, okay? Maybe even alone. But just do something out of the norm. Okay. Uh, the number 34 could be significant. The number 3, the number 10, the number 8. Um, this could be birthdays, special days, dates, whatever. Um, the letter K could be significant for someone as well. And the number 9. All right. Scorpio. Scorpio spirit, please show us a message for Scorpio weekend. Three, 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 Scorpio. Right there. All right. Three, 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 it is. Support it is from your loved ones, your ancestors. Show us a message for Scorpio. 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 My fellow Scorps, show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Hmm. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick. All right, Scorpio. Something is happening and you could be ignoring or I don't, I'm not, I wouldn't say ignoring. You could be overlooking a message. This could be a message that you're actually receiving through email, a text, a 
maybe whatever or pertaining to the government this could be an institution of some sort corporation um yeah there's there's definitely a message here this could be about your wages your money um as well but it's like you're either you're overlooking it or you just forgot about it and you didn't respond yet. Something like that. Like you got to respond to something. Because that tick tock is like time running out. Um, mm, who energy? Um, Gemini. Gemini could be significant for you. Someone could be reaching out to you who's a Gemini as well. They may need your support or help for something. This could be someone uh, that have an issue with the institution of some sort, the government or something. Uh, take it however. This could be the courts, okay? Um... So let me give you the time card. Your time card. My appearance brings time to the forefront to the forefront of importance. I may be approaching or passing, so be attentive. Use me wisely to provide perspective. Look around me to better understand my involvement. Certain cars may slow me down, but sometimes a quick action will get you the crown exactly so it's like you're overlooking a message or something you gotta you gotta do that you haven't done it could be some simple just answer like or signing something okay um so make sure you're not overlooking anything make sure you're you're um like checking in to certain sites maybe you have to check on something um make sure you're doing that if you have any involvement with the courts, do you make sure you you know you're answering like something like that? Okay. This could there could be some involvement due to um, due to finances or this could be a, a a relative that is reaching out to you as well. I don't know, and they may need your help, and they're running out of time. So just make sure you, you know, like like I said, be attentive at this time, okay? You got a lot of numbers here, okay? The letter J can be significant. The letter A, the letter K. Someone name could be Jack. Um, uh, the number 11, 27, 10, 30. Uh, 37, 12, 29, and 19 could be significant for someone. Or even 7 as well, or 6. Ooh, all right. Sagittarius Spirit, please show us a weekend message for Sagittarius. What is the message for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Sagittarius, whoa. Got two. Okay. Hmm. All right, Sagittarius, make sure you're cleaning your fruits and vegetables very well at this time. I mean, everyone, make sure you're doing that. But more specifically for you at this time, maybe you've been eating more fruits or vegetables and something like that. Just or you're you're being guided to do that. And you just need to make sure you wash them very thoroughly, okay? You better soak them. Put them in some vinegar, baking soda. is you know, not just no water and soap. You know, you can't rinse them off like olden days. But, yeah, something is going on with that. Like, you could end up feeling sick or your stomach start hurting. That's why. Um, 
that's a message for someone um so take it however it resonates but no i feel like you're here that's a message for you so just make sure you you take that into consideration okay so you can prevent whatever illness that's trying to come up now um someone could be trying to meet up with you i don't feel like this is a good meeting no because let me read let me give you let me read you okay so the mouse the mouth the mice is here um and this speaks of you don't want me in your house you don't want me in your blouse i bring loss i bring theft and destruction and decay i am your stress and anxiety i am the worry and society i am your nuisance i am your pest i bring sickness in your nest mm. and then the next one beauty and a, a happy face is what i bring i am the gift that warns your heart i am your recovery and your well-being no matter what card is before me i will always change it to positivity so i feel like whoever this is is trying to meet up with you the positive energy is just you either declining this or this could be someone you reside with um mm. It could just be right now you just need to cleanse the energy in your home not saying like it say for instance you live with someone it don't necessarily have to be if you've been feeling like they bring in negativity then yeah listen to your intuition but um if that person isn't a bad person and maybe y'all both just re really been feeling like the home just fell maybe it's because it's time to clean up it's time to declutter okay not saying it's nasty hopefully not but um, sometimes, you know, life get in the way and you may it get junky or something. No, clean up, um, declutter, throw some things out that you, you don't even use anymore. Um, and also cleanse as in cleansing the energy, sage. Um, you can definitely do that. Wipe all negative energy out of your house. Um, and so many other ways that you can do cleansing, but, um, yeah, but that's for starters okay if you want more you can join me in patreon now with the meetup this meeting here when you are going to a party a concert or a business meeting i am sure to show up in your in your reading you will find me in a reunion or a retreat a riot or a picnic i like crowds and public events so naturally i am good with all your networking intents so I feel like be careful with who you surround yourself by at this time. That's what this main message is because you have good. You have positivity coming out as shown. And it looks like you're going to meet up with a lover. Someone that, someone, yeah, this is a, this could be a distant friend, a lover or something. But this is long term. This is like this ain't going nowhere type thing maybe this is a commitment that you want to have with this person or this person want to have with you um or this could just be a friendship but just be mindful of who you're surrounding your energy with because i feel like certain energies is trying to attack yours okay you know the bad are always looking for the good because that's how they they are able to obtain like they're they're able to keep going because because of our good energy so if you feel like when you're around certain people you feel drained or you just or they're just negative release 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 okay yeah all right moving on to capricorn spirit show us a message for capricorn capricorn Capricorn. Capricorn. What is the message for Capricorn this weekend? Spirit, please show us. All right, Capricorn. Golly. Be 
careful on your spending, Capricorn. Be careful, be careful, be careful. But I feel like this could have recently happened and you're coming out of a hole. Um, this is to teach you a lesson. So let that, whatever this hole was that you got yourself into, let that be a lesson for you. Whether someone or something brought you to this or you did it yourself. This is a, it's still a lesson out of everything. So I feel like you're on a come up now. You're on a come up. You're able to come out of this. But you got to be careful though because it's still highly in your energy. So it's like just because you're, it's like you freshly, it's like you're freshly coming out of it. So it's easier for you to go right back into it. So you're going to have to be strong with whatever decisions you make due to your finances for sure. Um, Let me give you these messages. So, be warned. Oh, also, ooh. for some of you, you this could be you that end up messing up your own money because of uh, maybe someone tick you off, piss you off, and you get fired from the job because, and then after your lesson afterwards, it's like, dang, I could have... I could have uh, avoided that. I didn't have to say that. Or why couldn't I just let that go? And I could have still had my job or something like that. Or say, for instance, if it's a financial deal elsewhere, you know, um, someone wants to do business with you, and but you got mad at a client or customer or whatever the case. Something is like due to your temper right now, control it, control it, control it, control it. Um, I feel like, it's all based around your money, okay? So, however you get in your money, this could be extra, this could be your main source, this could, whatever it is, it's something pertaining to your money where something is going to tick you off or has. And you, right now, hopefully this is catching you beforehand. A lot of times my, my messages come out uh, future-wise versus now, but for some, it could be now, okay? For some, it could have already happened. I always keep that in mind, but... Um, just make sure you're, um, controlling your temper at this time. Uh, make, make sure you're staying grounded at this time. Make sure you're st keeping your peace at this time, because I feel like this is going to really interfere with your finances some type of way. Okay. This could be involvement with someone that's supposed to pay you or Maybe, shoot, this could be you having to pay someone. Maybe they would have gave you more time. But due to you having a fit or cussing them out, they're like, man, just give me all my money. <laughs> Whatever. So however the money situation is involving you, control your temper. Okay? Be warned of high temper. I bring conflict and strife. You will find me in competitions because I work with repetition. Arguments and quarrels are my pattern, but I am not always a villain. I can be found in the gym or in a lusty bed on a whim. So for some, this could be someone that you are sexually involved with. For some of you, this could be someone that you have, like this could be a competition due to like, um, you know, maybe you're gambling. Hopefully you, you're not. But if you are, control your temper, okay? Um, it's, yeah. Woo. All right. And to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. Be careful. I am swift and sharp. I cut through with precision, with a sharp and clear vision. I am an accident, a deep cut, a break, or sometimes a difficult decision that needs to be made. I can bring good harvest or danger. Look at what I am cutting nearby. It just might be your wage. So for some of you, this is your wage. For some of you, your temper could you get so mad due to a money situation, you end up hurting yourself. Um, or this also giving me like you know people with this road rage. You get mad, you end up having road rage, and you end up hurting yourself. Or just anything. Just be careful at this time, and it's mainly involving your temper. Okay. So if you like, well, I don't have a temper. I'm good. Well, it's not you. Unless you're just not being realistic with yourself. The best way is just to be real with self and understand our own flaws and realize, hey, 
dang, I do got a temper sometimes. Let me just calm that down. Let me work on myself. And that self-work, it works. Trust me. <laughs> it works. Um, 10, 11, and 31 could be significant for you at this time. All right. Um, Aquarius. Aquarius, spirit. Aquarius. Aquarius, what is the message for Aquarius? Aquarius. All right. Whoa. Aquarius, you're not seeing something clearly. It's something you're not seeing. Um, and it's a snake. It's a snake around you. I normally don't even take these cards in reverse. But it does make sense with this here. So they gave it to me like that. I'm going to take it. You're not seeing something clearly. This sun in reverse with this snake. It's like you're not seeing who the snake is. The snake could be an Aries. The snake could be anyone. I'm just saying, wow, I meant to say Leo. So it could be an Aries. Could be an Aries. But for some, it could be a Leo. That's what I, I was. That's crazy because I literally was thinking Leo. Okay. But um, only because the sun. Now, someone could have the placements of Leo or um, Aries. Um, or that's just the energy here. It could be any sign. Trust you me, okay? It could be any sign. Whoever is snaking you, you're overlooking them. Maybe you're giving them the benefit of the doubt, or you like, nah, maybe. No, it ain't no maybe. Okay. They're a snake. They're not to be trusted, whoever this is. Um, July 13th could be significant, um, or the 31st. Maybe you, you're overlooking something on the 31st, which is technically today of my recording, but the 31st, um, I mean, the 31st for you all by the time you get this video is the prior day. So maybe you need to look back on yesterday for your time <laughs> and think about like who was a snake or who was around you. Um, you know, something like that. Someone named could start with a Q or an A, whether yours or theirs or someone in the energy, okay? But yeah, I feel like you're overlooking the person that, that has been snaking you all along. Something like that. Or had parts in snaking you. Something like that. But, um, let me give y'all 13 could be, did I say 13? Yeah, 13 could be significant. Or 7. This, yeah, the 7th could be significant for someone. 7 coming up. All right. So the sun speaks of the sun speaks of success. Um of course. So, I'm gonna read it the upright, but it's definitely the reverse. I am success. Hear me roar. I control your ego and charisma. I boost your confidence and courage. I bring victory and glory. But be careful not to be too cocky or you will be burned by arrogance. So, this coming up in reverse is basically what you're doing, which is either you're too cocky or your ego, you're not controlling your ego. So, you could be the snake <laughs> okay so i'm not saying it like that but like um maybe you need to humble yourself at this time that's that's basically what that can be now for some it could this could be the energy or who they're talking about who this person is Okay, this person, maybe they, they kind of headstrong. They like, yeah, yeah, I got this and that and that, 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 that. <laughs> you like, that ain't cocky. All they do is talk about they self. Or all they do is brag about this or that or whatever the heck. Anyway, um, I don't know, you guys, but someone, they're trying to tell you something. Let me get this snake. Watch out for me because I am always hiding you can never trust or believe me. 
I am cheating, deceiving, and will betray you in a heartbeat. Be careful where you are treading. My fangs will surely have you dreading. So whoever this is could be close to you, okay? This could be someone close to you or trying to be... Because this is... They're close to you and, and, and they're hiding, though. So they're hiding that they're, that they're uh, against you. They're hiding that they're your enemy. That's what they're doing. So... You need to open your eyes, Aquarius, with this sun in reverse. Whoever this is, I feel like now that I'm really getting this message out more, I'm seeing like this person is this. What I just mentioned to you, that arrogance, that ego, they could be like very arrogant, very much in their ego, and they need to humble themselves. That's who the snake is. That's who that person is. So pay attention. Pay attention. They're telling you. They're giving you the tea, okay? They're letting you know who this person is. Don't be like, nah, that is not. Nah, you see? That's the sun in reverse as well. You not seeing clearly. Because you hope it's not them. You're like, nah, it ain't. It can't be them. I love them too much. Yeah, you could love someone, but they could still be snaking you. And nine times, out of, most of the time, 10 out of 10, <laughs> most of the time um the ones that snake us is the people that we care for right right so just be careful okay they're trying to warn you moving on to pisces pisces spirit pisces pisces Pisces, what is the message for what well, dang Pisces? Whoa, and you got three cards. All right, Pisces. Jeez Louise, what is going on here? Uh ooh. someone is wearing a mask. Someone is wearing a mask here. They're lying or they 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 they're not telling you the truth. Okay? They they trying to get over on you some type of way or this is you. This could be a parental figure of your own or this could be a the other parent of your children or child. Take it however it resonates. Um this could be a friend, or this could be a lover, this could be anyone. But someone, um, yeah, you got the you got the clovers in reverse, which speaks of good, good luck. I call blessings, but I bring you luck and happiness. I make things better, and as long as there isn't a negative card after me, I will turn difficulties to opportunities. I am the nice surprise and the happy size. But the thing is, Pisces, that message came up in reverse. And it is a negative card after anyway. So this is speaking of your blessings being wiped away. Because this broom, it takes it away. Someone, again, someone, I don't know, um... Let me get into this uh, mask of, of this reading. Look deep into your soul. For whose amusement do you play? I balance the contradictions and, and encompass the opposites. I project your emotions or hide them. When I land to your right, I bring joy to light. But if my presence is to the left, then Malachon is in sight. I can be the face to suit any occasion. All parts I can play, the truth or disguise. I am your creation. This is all not good. This is the way these cards are aligned is going towards negative. 
So either you're not being true, you're you're not living in your truth. You're not being your true authentic self. You're not um you're not and this true authentic self could be just who you are as a person or what you do or or you know, it's something you're hiding. And they're like, no, we need you to bring this to light because we, we need you to continue your journey. But we need you to do this in your truth. So whatever this truth is, maybe you don't got it like that, but you're saying you do. Or maybe you're portraying yourself to be happy and you're really sad. But it's like, show who you really are. Be this, be the, let that compassionate side of you come out. Um, let the, the, bring out bring out your emotions like maybe you're hiding like you could be like oh i'm good i'm good or yeah or say for instance your money is not all that great but you're 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 saying that it is like how are you going to receive any type of support or help if you're declining or not declining you're uh masking for sure you're masking your true self like you how are how what others know rather so i don't know your situation um due to this being so broad this message um but they're speaking to self okay this is you and you're causing losses to your own life by not living in your true authentic self um now for some this could be involvement with someone and they're not being their true authentic self to you as well. But as I tell all signs, as I tell you all, be real with self. Be real with self. So the message that I'm saying to you, don't don't refuse it because you don't want to hear it because it bothers you. Why is it bothering you? Because it is a problem that you have, right? No one else have to know your situation. You know your situation. Now fix it. But if you don't, you're going to continue to hit these rock bottoms. And that's what this is showing. A rock bottom moment. Rock bottom could be mentally. This could be financially. So however this is, they're trying to forewarn someone so you can, you know, correct this. Why you can Gain this message that I'm delivering you. Birds are messengers. So yeah, someone here. Um, it's time for you to 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 take that mask off. Live in your truth. Because when you live in your truth, you recognize your real supporters. You recognize the people that truly love you. But when you're not living in your truth, you have people that's loving the false you. Loving the side of you that you want others to see. That's not real. That's you don't you don't want them kind because if them kind once you show your true authentic self whoever or whatever it is that you got that you do whoever you are these people end up they going away it's just like you is say for instance you you once upon a time you had the money you had the money you had all all your homies all your friends they around they laughing with you joking with you yeah you my homie we we locked in as soon as that money get dry. Where everybody at? Where everybody at? That's you showing your true authentic self. But once that money get dry and you like, oh yeah, I got it, I got it. But you like, damn, I shouldn't even spend that. But all right, I don't want them to know my situation or whatever. Then you still got these phonies. Okay, that's just an example. That could be your situation. For some, but they're trying to tell you, hey, you're going to have to live in your true authentic self, you know, so you can work on self and make things better for self. 
but it looked like things is going to be wiped away, wiped away, wiped away, taken away. Like a come up, then a come down. A come up and then a come, Because you're not living in your true authentic self. Okay? But that is your message. The numbers I have for you is 40, the number 2, the number 12, and the number 11. Okay? All right, you guys, that is it for y'all weekend message. I'm so happy to be back with you all. Don't forget to like, everyone, like the video, um, show your support, comment below. Um, whether it's you speaking on the message that resonates with you or you just speaking to me, I speak back. Like I said, I will respond back to your messages. All right, see y'all later. Many blessings to you.